the European Court of Human Rights is part of the Council of Europe, which was set up in 1949 to promote human rights, democracy and the rule of law in its member states. There are now more than 47 member states of the Council of Europe, which opens the court's jurisdiction to over 800 million citizens. So it's very important for the court that we can disseminate the case law of the court to as wide an audience as possible. And one of the main vehicles that we do to do this is our internet site and of course our now our new UDOC system. So at the moment in our internal document management system we have over 3.5 million documents but of course only some of these documents are published to the internet itself and onto the UDOC platform, the judgments and the decisions etc. So on the UDOC platform we have about 90,000 documents that we want to index. Last year alone we had over 4.6 million visitors to our site and I would say 70% of those visitors went directly to the UDOC system to find the jurisprudence. We realised that we had to move from more of a flat result list to a more intuitive and uh, easier uh, platform for our users to find the case law they're looking for. Ce qui a prévalu, c'était vraiment l'optimisation de la recherche. On se retrouve avec une base de données qui compte environ 90 000 documents. Il faut effectivement que toute cible, que ce soit un avocat, que ce soit euh, une organisation internationale, que ce soit euh, un requérant qui est par exemple détenu en prison, puisse se retrouver face à un écran de recherche et trouver l'arrêt ou la décision qui va apporter une réponse à sa question. So after our analysis, we decided that the platform for choice for the court was fast. I think that out of the box, the fast platform has many features that we can harness to develop the new system. For example, clusterization, categorization. Microsoft Fast really did provide us with the best development platform. We looked at all the others, but we had significant internal .NET development expertise. And also the fast indexing pipeline is extremely open and allows us to do a lot of work there as well. Once we decided that we would develop under FAST, we then did an international call for tender for developers, and we decided to use a company called Skydocs. Skydocs provided the user interface for us, first and foremost, and also the underlying indexing engine was customized so that whenever we were publishing and indexing documents, the metadata was transformed by the work that they were doing. On a insisté sur le niveau d'importance des affaires. On a insisté sur la violation et les non-violations. On a aussi insisté sur les mots-clés. Pourquoi les mots-clés Parce qu'ils sont rattachés aux articles de la Convention. Microsoft Last provided us with significant technical help. For example, with, uh, we had an issue with HTML rendering of our documents and they spent a considerable amount of time to get us a solution that would allow us to progress further with the project. En tant que formatrice de la base de données UDOC, j'ai eu le plaisir de pouvoir comparer l'ancienne et la nouvelle base de données face à un public non averti. Les feedbacks sont vraiment très très positifs. Les gens sont impressionnés par l'efficacité de cette base, par les capacités, par la simplicité. With our new architecture, we're really very impressed with the query response times that we're seeing and the additional categorization and filtering options means that users can very quickly and easily find the information that they want. 